Hey guys, it's Bridgette with San Diego Seed Company, and it is March, it is springtime, I am in the garden, and this is a springtime seed starting giveaway video. So, as you know, I love seeds, I love seed starting, I love everything about propagation, I mean, look at the greenhouse, and I wanna share that with you. One of the ways in which I've done that is start a seed company, but the other way that I wanna get you starting seeds is I wanna give you the easiest way possible to start your seeds if you're a total beginner. Now, the way in which we've done that is we started carrying these rad trays that are called Excel trays. The reason why we love them is they come to you pre-filled with soil, already pre-moistened. Literally, you don't even have to get your hose out. You, you, don't, have to, you don't have to do anything except open it up it's already ready to go. There's little tiny pre-drilled holes where you can pop the seed in and that's it. I fell in love with these because I started using them when I had my baby and he was on my hip and it was really hard and I couldn't be dealing with a bunch of soil and trying to deal with all of this with the baby on my hip. No, 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 no. Simple Simon. I wanted something that was really easy. This is a 50 cell Excel plug seed starting tray that we've started carrying. But in this video, I wanna give one to you guys to get you started so that you can see just how easy it is to start from seed. Okay, so let's just jump into some seed starting basics. If you're like scrolling through your Instagram and you have total FOMO because everyone's starting their seeds and you're like, I don't know how. Okay, it's relatively easy. Number one, the most important thing is you need to start with good soil. The Excel plug tray already comes pre-filled with soil that is pre-moistened. That's actually step number two, is you need to make sure the soil is moist. If you're using good quality seed starting soil, it is actually hydrophobic the first time you use it, meaning it's hard to take on water. These are shipped to you already pre-filled. Then you need to stick your seeds in. These actually come with little drilled holes where you can drop the seed in. It's super simple. You can see I got a little heavy handed. That's what happens when you got a baby on your hip. Nothing's perfect. So I'm gonna have to come in here and thin. This is my basil for the garden. I've got Tulsi and cinnamon and Genovese basil. Really excited about these. These actually germed uh, probably about a week's time in this greenhouse, which is a very low tech greenhouse, not super temperature controlled or anything like that. I just have a couple of box fans and a door I open and close, that's it. Once they germinate, then I let them get their, their first set of true leaves and then I need to fertilize. At that point, you can get your plants up and growing to look like this. All of these seeds were started in seed starting mix, in seed trays, and actually we have a lot of work this week. We're gonna plant out at the farm, which I'm really excited about. Um, so be careful not to plant too soon or you'll be overwhelmed like I am now. So you guys might be thinking, wow, well 50 is a lot of anything for the garden. That's actually why I started several different kinds because I didn't want 50 of the same basil. And you might also be thinking, well, how big are these? Well, they're relatively small, but it's a great size to get started in. And if you need to pot up into a bigger size, you actually can and then plant out. Here at zone nine and 10, a lot of crops will actually grow well enough in this size. Lettuces, basils, a lot of crops will do fine and can go from this directly into the ground. But let's say you're in zone eight, seven, six, or other areas, if you start your crops in these, you'll probably need to pot up into something bigger before you are able to get them into the ground. So to clarify, the reason why zone eight, seven, six, and so on, wouldn't be able to grow a tomato all the way into the size that they could plant out in this is because it's not quite big enough. And if you're planting when we're planting, then you might have many, many, many weeks until you get to the point that you can plant out. Good example is like, look at the root system on these tomatoes. Now these are huge and ah, <clears throat> these are actually very lanky and they were started way too soon. But you can tell, look at this. They're already outgrowing the six pack and look how big that is. Look at that. If I leave them in here much longer, they're gonna start to get root bound. That's why we gotta plant these this coming week on the farm. So a lot of you have seen videos where we recommend actually using 32 cells or less. And that's because the less cells for this area, the bigger each cell is, which means you have more area, more soil, which can be more root development and the plant can get larger in this actual tray. The smaller it is, 
obviously the reverse, the less soil you have, and they can very quickly get root bound if you leave them in here too long. This is a great beginner's kit. The reason why I love it is it already takes a lot of factors that you can accidentally uh, mess up out of the way. Number one being it's filled with really good soil, it comes pre-moistened, and it has little holes where you can drop the seed in and you're ready to go. If you're an advanced grower and you've been growing tons and tons of stuff, this may not be the best system for you. But if you've never grown any seed in a tray before, this is a great way to start to learn the fundamentals so that then you can branch out on your own. Now, and word to the wise, if you are gonna start in smaller cells and you do plan to pot up, think about the space that it's gonna require. This is 50 cells, which means you're gonna need 50 of these, which means the space that is required is going to be exponential. Also, the soil to fill these is going to be quite a bit. So know what you're doing before you get too far into it so that you don't run out of space, soil, and pots to finish your gardening project. Okay, so I just want you guys to kind of dream with me. If you were to win that tray, what crop would you grow in that tray and what would you do with it? Is it going to be beneficial flowers like this beautiful calendula? Is it going to be cut flowers like our zinnias? Is it going to be a vegetable crop? Is it going to be an herb for your tea? I mean, there's so many different options out there. And now to have a chance to win this tray, you need to subscribe to our channel, comment on this video with what you would be growing in that tray. Make sure you like it and sign up for our newsletter because that's how we announce the winner of this giveaway. We're gonna be giving you a 150 cell tray that's already shipped to you and ready to plant and also seeds for your spring garden.